Kenyans turned up at the Uhuru Gardens in their numbers to watch the Kenya Defense Forces air show held at the newly constructed venue. The rare opportunity organized jointly by KDF and the Aero Club of East Africa involved displays of the various types of airplanes, including fighter jets and helicopters and even skydivers. As Emily Chabet reports, security was tight with the consequent traffic jam extending to to Langata Road for the better part of the day. It was a nice weekend for Nairobi residents who thronged the newly constructed Uhuru Gardens along Langata Road. Thousands came to enjoy the spectacular air show that was organized by Kenya Defense Forces in collaboration with Aero Club East Africa. During public holidays, Kenyans experience shorter versions of such shows, but today, for more than five hours, children who are on mid-term holidays joined their parents to enjoy the event. Kenya <laughs> The F-5 fighter impressed many with their loud noise and high speed. South Africa's Mark Hensman aerobatic flights stole the show with their rare display of skills, the four crisscrossing each other while creating different images in the sky. Kenyans got to see first-hand military flight and rescue after the Puma helicopter landed at the grounds to cheers from members of the public. I'm an airplane enthusiast. I like stuff to do with aircraft. And um, today has been a very good day. When I had this an air show, I, I made sure I, I cleared my, my whole day so I can come for this day. And I'm very happy to be here. And uh, we've seen so much about the, the, the Kenya Air Force and what they can do. And uh, it gives us confidence as Kenyans that, that our skies are safe. And we enjoyed it so much. I'm so happy to see the the Kenyan power in protecting its people, especially the hostages, I'm very, very happy. And also in protecting the animals, for example, the Kenya wildlife. And I will, uh, I will also encourage the president to do more so that we can also be the one, so that we can also be the powerful the powerful country in Africa. The Kenya Defense Forces demonstrating fight and rescue skills, giving Kenyans a rare feel of what they go through just to ensure that the country is safe. The Kenya Wildlife Service team also displaying their skills when it comes to wildlife conservation. The event that came ahead of next week's Madaraka Day was attended by President Uhuru Kenyatta and Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed. And after enjoying the air show, the two joined by visitors who came earlier left minutes past four without making any address. It may not be the first time for Kenyans to experience such an event, but it is definitely the first time to be offered free of charge. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, from Uhuru Gardens, Nairobi.